Maloa College. An international bilingual school. Located in Marbella, in the south of Spain. We are a group of Year 10 chemistry students. And here's our submission to the 2016 Cobus Young Scientist Film Awards. Hope, Hope you like it! Have you ever heard the term redshift? If not, this could be a big help. To start off with, let's first look at the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is the change in frequency of a wave or other periodic event for an observer moving relative to its source. Let's look at this another way. Have you ever noticed how if you stand on a road and an ambulance goes by, the pitch will gradually increase as it moves towards you and decrease as it moves away? This is because the sound waves it produces are getting more and more squashed together as it moves close to you. Redshift is an example of the Doppler effect, except it occurs in light rather than sound. Like sound, light consists of waves. The wavelength, or distance from one wave crest to the next, of light is extremely small, ranging from 4 to 7 ten millionths of a meter or nanometers. The different wavelengths of light are what the human eye sees as different colors, with the longest wavelengths appearing at the red end of the spectrum. Now, imagine a source of light at a constant distance from us, such as a star, emitting waves of light at a constant wavelength. Obviously, the wavelength of the waves received will be the same as the wavelength at which they are emitted. Suppose now that the source starts moving towards us. When the source emits the next wave crest, it will be nearer to you, so the distance between wave crests will be smaller than when the star was stationary. This means that the wavelength of the waves we receive is shorter. Correspondingly, if the source is moving away from us, the wavelength of the waves we receive will be longer. In the case of light, therefore, this means that stars moving away from us will have their spectra shifted toward the red end of the spectrum, or red shifted, and those moving towards us will have their spectra blue shifted. In astronomy, redshift is extremely useful in determining the speed that stars and galaxies are approaching or receding from us, otherwise known as their radial velocities.